what is good? This is your boy, Vega the Chosen, from the Hip Hop Heads Podcast, coming at you with something new. This is The Listening Sesh. Alright, it's a new show that I'll be doing, we will be doing, where we bring you a new album. We listen to it. We tell you what we think, we tell you the dopest tracks, we tell you the wackest tracks, we tell you about the features, we tell you who's produced it, we tell you, try to tell you all the things, and then at the end, we will give it a rating, best out of five. Today, it's just me, Vega the Chosen, for Dolo, it is Labor Day, and I'm out here, just listening to some shit, and having a good time. I got some, been putting together the studio, it's looking nice in here, looking real good, almost done, almost done with the, the Hip Hop Hits studio, the crypt, you know how it be, so like I told you, we got a special show for you, our first one, our premiere, and I've been listening to this album for a few days, it just dropped on Friday, and it is called... R. J. K. My Life is a Movie 2. The sequel to My Life is a Movie, R. J. Payne's album with Stu Bangas. This time, there is no Stu Bangas, but we have um, who do we have on there? P.A. Dre on the beats, and it was recorded with DJ Jazzy Jeff. And he is on all the interludes on this album. This album is just lovely. It is uh, 29 minutes and 58 seconds long. Uh, it came out Friday. So that would be September 1st. Uh, that dropped R.J. Payne, My Life is a Movie 2. It's got 14 tracks on it. Um... You got about one, two, three, four, about four, uh, four to five interludes on this where Jazzy Jeff talks. Um, and you got another one with uh, RJ Payne as well on there. It's a really solid album. Um, produced by P.A. Dre, if I'm correct. I believe that's the story on that one. Uh, produced uh, produced by P.A. Dre. And like I said, um, I believe recorded with DJ Jazzy Jeff. Uh, he's on quite a few tracks on here. Um, just talking about different parts of Philadelphia. Giving you kind of the rundown on that situation. It is uh, pretty cool. Nice to hear him on the album. R.J. Payne is pretty great um used to be named the rain man he um is from philly he has a ton of a a big body of work he's dropping stuff all the time uh right now he's kind of gone viral for making these songs that are about movies um, and scenes from movies and things like this and it's pretty great um, and this kind of goes along the same uh, lines. My life is a movie, not so much as he's telling stories, a um, you know, about film, but he is speaking about his life as if it was like you were watching it, um, and it's pretty dope. Like I said, uh, DJ Jazzy, Jazzy Jeff is on here, and they uh, do a lot of tracks that are just about Philadelphia. I'd say the whole album is really about Philadelphia, um, front to back. All different things. When the album starts, he comes in. um, The song is called Philly International Airport, and it's him kind of like touching down in uh, Philadelphia. And the last track is called The Takeoff. It's him, I think, I believe, leaving Philadelphia. Um, And it's just really fucking good. Um, Like I said, 14 tracks. It's kind of short and sweet. It's a little less than a half an hour, just right on a half hour, 29 minutes, 58 seconds, like I said. And, um, as I was saying, he just takes you through a journey of Philadelphia. Have you ever been to Philadelphia? Um, you will really like this. 
Um, if you have ever lived in Philadelphia, you will love this. If you love hip hop, of course. Um, just amazing because he brings you through everywhere. Um, you know, like I said, the Philly International Airport. He's got Center City, uh, the West Philly, South Philly, uh, South Street, you know, the Rocky Statue, Uptown Saturday Night, Kensington, uh, North Philly. Um, just he, like I said, he and he talks about everything that's going down in those places. He must have been, you know, just cruising around and, and, and writing, I assume. He does an incredible job. Now, usually... Um, for RJ Payne, he's he. I've heard people uh, critique him and say, "Oh, you know, he's kind of boisterous and uh, you know a little bit you know loud," um, which you know sometimes he can be. Um, it's never too much, in my opinion. Um, he's you know he can be a bit abrasive. He's in your face. He's rapping oh, just his ass off all the time. Um, this one, I think, I feel like he takes a little bit of a smoother approach on this and he sounds amazing um just really really solid stuff um he just kills it from front to back lyrically this guy is a monster he's one of the top guys right now um if you want to debate that you fine fine with me but but you'd be wrong okay this guy is a spitter and he, his style is just ridiculous. The way he writes um, and the way he puts together these songs is just fantastic. I mean, it, it's just real. I, I was blown away multiple times on this. Um, the one that got me, though, I think most, if I had to pick a track, all right, the replayer would be the Kensington joint. I thought that shit was super, super dope. Um that's a drug street in, in Philadelphia. And it's like fucking crazy down there. Crazy. Um, and he really, uh, painted a picture there and it was, um, uh, it was, uh, it was a rough picture, but, uh, if you know anything about the place, it's, uh, it's a lot. And, uh, I've, I've known people who have, uh, been on the wrong side of the tracks and been through there and uh, it wasn't good for them, and, you know, there's a lot of horror stories, and you can actually, I think they have a camera up on Kensington, you can watch, you know, people on Kensington, it's just a lot of drug addicts, and it's just really crazy out there. Um, I would not suggest visiting there, uh, that part of Philadelphia. Um, but there's plenty more uh, that Philadelphia has to offer, and if you're interested in that shit... Listen to this album. You'll find everything else out you need to know. I mean, key, if you're looking for places to shop, places to eat, places to stay, RJ Payne hooks it up. He's got it all unlocked. He just... He, he tells you. He just tells you how it is. It's it, it's as if you were in Philadelphia. This this album is, is pretty damn amazing. I loved it. Front to back, no skips, in my opinion. No skips on this one. You heard it here first, folks. First episode, we're going with a no skipper. Just a great album. Um, and like I said, some people have this thought about R.J. Payne, not me, but others do. Um, I would call them idiots, but those idiots, if you're listening, check this out, because I think this would be a bit more your speed. By R.J. Payne, kind of really, he really shows his range on here. I mean, he just shows his range all the time. What am I talking about? But this is just another great concept. Um, he is one of the top guys doing concepts right now. I said it years ago. Your old Droog was was bringing back concept rap, and this is also doing that. I mean, this is years later, obviously, but. It's just another just home run if you're a person who's into concepts. He's, he's just sick with it. This is crazy. Um, if I were to rate this album out of five, which we're doing here on the Hip Hop Heads podcast, um, if I were to rate it out of five, it's tough. It's tough because you don't want to go you know all in on the first show. You know, I'm not going to give it a five, but I'll give it a 4.5 stars. That's from me. OK, so if you know what I like, that is just this hits this hits almost everything here that the beats are smooth. 
RJ just rides. And then you have you have you also have the legend DJ Jazzy Jeff on here. There's no features. There's no bullshit. It's just our RJ Payne and DJ Jazzy Jeff doing their thing. It's it's lovely. Um, and then P.A. Dre on the beats does a great job complimenting. Very smooth on this. Very, very smooth. Um, on the last album, Stu Bangers complimented uh, R.J. wonderfully, you know, with them that hard-hitting boom bap. This is a little bit more um, smooth. It's it's it, it, it sounds like Philadelphia. It's really fucking dope. I'd, I'd be interested to to see uh what kind of artist he sampled on this but uh, really good keep an eye out for pa dre um 4.5 i mean that's really really good i mean you, you can't you can barely get better than that um did you listen to my life as a movie too what did you think did you enjoy it let me know Send me, send me a shout out. Tell me, tell me what you thought. Do you think, do you agree with my rating? Do you not agree with the rating? I mean, personally, I don't care whether or not you do or not, but I would still like to hear, you know, hear your takes on it. Let me know. This is your boy Vega for the premiere episode of the listening sesh. This was RJ Payne. My life is a movie too. DJ Jazzy Jeff. P.A. Dre, 4.5 stars. Pfft, dig it. Check me out at thecryptonline.com, the Hip Hop Heads podcast, still coming at you as much as we can, and we'll be doing this as well. I hope you enjoy this first episode. Let us know what you think, and we will see y'all soon. And do us a favor, listen to that R.J. Payne, My Life is a Movie too. Pick up a physical copy if he's got them out there. We will try to leave some info in the description. Thank you very much, and thank you for listening. This is Vega signing off. The Hip Hop Heads Podcast, The Listening Sesh. Peace. Peace.